In Thailand, they know about royalty. This was, after all, the original setting for the story, later the musical, The King and I. Today, the music was of a more measured martial tone, when it could be heard against the roaring flypast of the Royal Thai Air Force. The first surprise, and a day of considerable surprises, was the Queen's dress, slit to the waist on both sides to reveal a white underskirt, a meeting of Thai and English styles. The Queen is travelling around Bangkok in a stately, though elderly, Daimler. After the dancing, it came to a sudden halt for the Queen to receive gifts from local people. Ladies presented bouquets, and an old man gave the Queen a whole pile of beribboned boxes. The floor of the Daimler was soon piled high. Eventually, it moved forward, and the crowd moved forward too. Ties, I'm told, are not much given to cheering, but today, a little frenzy bore ample witness to the warm, occasionally boisterous welcome the Queen has received. I must extend my sympathy on this year's floods, whilst expressing my admiration for the determination shown in building future protection for the community. Change always brings challenges. In your country, as in mine, Economic advances have brought individual and social pressures, including the increasingly critical problem of managing economic development while preserving our environment. Your Majesty, no one can be in any doubt of your personal commitment to seeking solutions to these problems. Although some old conflicts have ended, New ones have unfortunately emerged, requiring urgent international action to try to bring them to an end. We must remain vigilant to ensure that the rights of individuals, adults and children are protected in society and that justice for all prevails. The threats of drugs, terrorism and organized crime have also become more immediate.